Thank you. I call the Honourable Member Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I'm willing to um, lay a bet that when um, the Honourable Morris Williamson took up his uh, warrant as Building Construction Minister, that sorting out the plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers board probably wasn't that high on his list of strategic, <laughs> strategic priorities. Morris's to-do list. Morris's to-do list. I guess what for one one late night four years ago he was sitting in the Bolton Hotel scribbling a list of things he wanted to achieve as minister, and sorting out the plumbers, gas fitters, and drain layers probably wasn't one of them. But it's fair to say, sir, that um, the problems of the um, plumbing, gas fitting, and drain laying industry, and the problems associated with that industry's board, have been the bane of the lives of a number of building and construction ministers uh, over the last few years. It's a troubled industry and uh, the dysfunctional relationships, I think it's fair to say, uh, in that industry have plagued the operation of the uh, Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Board. And that sort of entrenched animosity um, between members of the board and uh, people involved in, I think, two different industry associations uh, have tied up uh, the, what should be an effective mechanism to regulate and clean up uh, an industry, but it's been plagued by um, uh, fighting and animosity for some time. And this is not the first plumbers, uh, gas fitters and drain layers bill to come before this House in the last few years, and uh, I think probably we're all hoping, sir, that it will be the last. No. Labor supports this bill. Well, I, you know, I, I had a lot of sympathy for um, the remarks of Sir uh, William Seal, who pointed out, I think quite rightly, that the people of New Zealand would like this Parliament to be focusing on things that are more of a priority for them. Okay. They want education sorted out. They want jobs. Uh, they want child poverty dealt with, they want Auckland's housing crisis uh, addressed, and instead um, the government, ministers like uh, the Honourable Morris Williamson and this parliament are, uh, are having to spend time on what for most Kiwis is a pretty obscure uh, piece of legislation. Um, I, I want simply to underline some of the comments that my colleagues, uh, uh, Raymond Huo, Marion Street, Sir William Seale have already made. Um, that is that Labor is supporting this bill to select committee uh, because we feel that the issues deserve to be aired and the various warring parties in the industry deserve the opportunity to uh, come along and have a say and, um, and uh, see whether or not uh, this bill can solve, um, the, uh, sort out the mess that the, the plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers board have got themselves into. We have rehearsed already our, uh, our discomfort um, uh, with the fact that this is retrospective legislation um, that is seeking to validate uh, a practice that should never have taken place. Um, the plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers board should never have been using uh, uh, a levy that they extracted from registered um, uh, members of their industry um, and then used those fees to, um, to prosecute uh, uh, members of the industry and to discipline and prosecute members of the industry who were, non, who were not registered members. Now, um, as the Minister said earlier, it's perfectly normal in this kind of situation for an industry body like this uh, charged with maintaining standards and regulating the industry to, um, to, to exercise a, a disciplinary role for registered and non-registered members. But the problem is that the enabling legislation for this board uh, restricted its um, purview to registered uh, members of the, um, of the board, sir. And um, so they've got themselves into a real uh, pickle here and they need this House to uh, retrospectively validate um, those levies that um, have been uh, spent in a way that they were not supposed to be. So, 
As Marion Street said, we, we can thank the Regulations Review Committee, who have done their job well. They uh, uh, identified um, what I think they, they, they described as unusual or unexpected use of the levy power, and they have, they have pursued this uh, issue um, with some diligence over the last year or so. So we owe thanks to the Regulations uh, Review Committee. Um, my colleagues have pointed out also that um, Labor is not uh, uncritically uh, supporting the uh, conduct of the, of the board by um, supporting uh, the bill at this stage. We are not uh, endorsing the behaviour of the board in acting beyond the law, um, and acting, in fact, uh, beyond the scope of its, of its levy power. Rather, what we want to do is send this bill off to select committee uh, try to get the problem sorted out and give all the parties a chance to get in the room and express their views. Um, I want to just provide uh, some background uh, for those people listening about the uh, Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Lads Board. Its job, uh, Mr Speaker, is to protect the health and safety of the public by regulating and ensuring uh, the competency of people in those trades in carrying out sanitary plumbing, uh, gas fitting and drain laying work. Um, this bill allows the board to continue to collect uh, offence fees, currently um, about $600,000 a year, from registered persons uh, for this um, uh, 2013 licensing year. Um, this bill uh, validates the disciplinary and offence fees, both in the past and changes um, the, the rules for um, the future. So the effect of this is that the board um, cannot be required by registered persons to refund the monies that were collected unlawfully by the board. And I think, as Marion Street pointed out, uh, if we don't do that, basically um, the plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers board will go belly up. And that will, that will make um, a, a complicated and difficult situation uh, much worse, sir. So um, we, we support the bill on the basis that it's a necessary evil and, uh, and something that uh, needs to be done. Um, I, I, the, the, the last thing I'd like to do is just touch on the, um, the main provisions uh, of the bill. So section um, 143 of the Act is the empowering provision um, uh, allowing the board to impose on registered plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers a disciplinary levy and then it can, it's allowed to use that for investigations uh, into allegations or complaints against registered persons uh, only and, uh, proceed, and disciplinary proceedings. Well what this bill does is it empowers the board to impose uh, those levies uh, against um, uh, members, registered members, but it enables them to use those levies for um, prosecuting or disciplining uh, any uh, either registered or unregistered uh, players uh, in the industry. So it extends the purpose for which the board may impose the levy and clause four of the bill um, amends section 143 uh, in that way. Um, uh, and uh, finally, sir, uh, part two of the bill um, is the validation clause, and what it does is it, is it, is it retrospectively validates the disciplinary levy and offences uh, fees that um, uh, were imposed between the 1st of April 2007 and 11th of January 2012. Call Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, well, I'm happy to take.